Tennessee rental laws outline the rules in the state regarding lease agreements and evictions. We'll examine relevant laws for standard lease agreements, month to month lease agreements and evictions. Standard lease agreement. A standard lease gives an overview of the terms between a landlord and tenant for the renting of property. A standard lease is commonly a one year fixed period and is the most widely used rental contract. Month to month lease. A month to month lease, also called an at-will tenancy, is an agreement between a landlord and tenant that renews automatically every month and terminates upon notice by either party. In Tennessee, notice must be provided by either party a minimum of 30 days prior to termination as required by law. Required disclosures. In Tennessee, the following disclosures are required to be included as part of the lease. Landlord manager disclosure. The name and address of the owner or the person authorized to manage the property must be disclosed to the tenant. Showings. If the landlord would like to show the property to prospective tenants before the current lessee's agreement is terminated, it must be stated that the landlord has this right to do so within 30 days of the lease termination date. The landlord must provide the tenant at least 24 hours notice before each showing. Landlord access. In Tennessee, the landlord is not required to give notice before entering their property for repairs or other non-emergency reasons. However, as previously stated, they are required to give the current tenant a minimum of 24 hours notice before showing the property to a prospective tenant. Security deposit laws. In Tennessee, there is no maximum to what landlords can charge for security. The money must be returned to the tenant within 30 days of the lease termination date. Eviction laws. There are four legally accepted causes for eviction in Tennessee. Immediate notice to quit, prostitution or drug violations. If the tenant is engaging in either of these illegal behaviors, the landlord can issue this incurable immediate notice to quit, which requires the tenant to vacate immediately. Three day notice to quit illegal behavior. If the tenant is engaging in any other illegal behavior, the landlord can issue a three day notice to quit which gives the tenant three days to vacate with no option to cure the violation. Non-payment of rent. If the tenant is late on rent, the landlord can issue a 14 day notice to pay or quit. This gives the tenant 14 days to pay the rent in full along with any penalties. If they do not pay by the 14th day, they must vacate by the 30th day. Non-compliance. If the tenant breaks any portion of the lease other than late rent, the landlord may give the tenant 30 days to comply with the lease or vacate the property.